Good day, guys. Dish Ban here. Not really a dramatic return when it's been like a week. But still. Here we are. It's actually sort of the same day as we were on before. But it's, of course, it is. Episode 2, Get Tannen. Uh, it's Jersey Shore, the episode. He's a Guido now, Marty, of course. Fist pumping away. That's a wonderful show. It's so terrible that it's wonderful. So here's the DeLorean, my dream car. I believe I've mentioned that before. It's, it's just a wonderful piece of equipment. Uh, although there was actually one at like the local shopping center near me, and I didn't even go because I, I think I was working. That sucks. Whoa. Ah! Ah! What's happening? Where did you two I come from? Know. Unless uh, tomorrow's newspaper. Do you still have it? Yes, yeah. in my gigantic pockets. Local accountant beaten, left for dead. The the game? Local what? accountant Arthur McFly was severely beaten and left for dead. Advertising. On the steps of the Hill Valley Courthouse last night. They're gonna kill my grandpa? Tannen's goons, oh, no. no doubt. Probably in retaliation for Arthur answering that subpoena you delivered. Probably what are we explaining do? plot. I'm not sure what we can do. According to this, your grandfather was dumped on the doorsteps of the courthouse five minutes ago. Okay, not sure what we can do. The picture is disappearing. Remember That's what you're time in? stream catching up with your grandfather's fatal wounds. Catching up? Which means your father will never be born. And neither will you. Unless... Oh yeah, time travel. That thing we've done hundreds of times at this point. <laughs> when did you last see your grandfather? <laughs> Four o'clock. Four o'clock. In the town square. Let's give him enough time to make his deposition. Okay. Right. Yeah. We'll right. have to be careful not to run into ourselves. That shouldn't be a problem in your case. Yeah, it could hurt. I mean, you were in jail. All right, let's get moving. Why did that bottle make a squelch? Us. Freeze! Ah. Oh no. Step out of the car with your hands up. Oh man, L.A. Noir. It's my go-to reference for police now, by the way. Just because it looks like that. But here we go. Get to the past. You know, a common phrase. People say, I guess we're gonna go around this way. Of course. What was that? What was what? Crap! I heard something back there. I think you're mistaken, officer. You can always just look. That ring's really noticeable right now for some reason. Why does he have to point the gun at him? It doesn't seem dangerous well, at all. Looks like I caught me a fugitive. Carl Sagan. I know you somehow arsonist. straight away. A legend speaking to arsonist, if you don't mind. I guess they look at every criminal who comes through the police station. Police center, that's real. Oh yeah, just inconspicuously. What the heck kind of buggy is that? Stay back. It's a prototype, still untested. Liable to blow up at any moment. Yeah. Or suddenly I can't take off here. without warning. That's so. Oh, well, he's doing that there yelling again. thing again, by the way. I think the night air is playing tricks on you, officer. Why is he still pointing the gun? Goodness me. All right, come on. We couldn't get the keys, so let's, let's get him at some point. We're gonna. What is it? Some kind of foreign? We're gonna have to walk around the whole German car, or something? Aren't we? Not at all. This is solid American workmanship. America! Building our ends. Now I'm sure something's back there. Then look, you are the police. He's an old man. You have a gun. You are the one in charge here. Come on. It's like something out of Buck Rogers. Time yeah, reference. Now, everybody will be driving these babies. Yep, driving babies, of course. Please don't shake the baby, by the way. What is that? New Deal? Used cars? Huh. FDR's used cars? I, I guess. I don't even know what things are. References. I wouldn't be surprised if there's a promotion in this. I'm going to talk it about my future career. Commodity in Hill Valley. Really? That's very gratifying to hear. Yeah, honestly, what is this? Uh, yeah, he won't notice this. So, uh, I guess we're just going to go. Oh my god, you're going to hit Doc! Stop! Where did Doc go? Dad, no! Save your grandfather! How did you get in the way? I'll be fine until you get back. You got it, Doc. Which could be instantly because it's a time machine? Out of the DeLorean. Dun, 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 dun. What was that? It was him going where we don't need roads. Where we're going, we don't need... I think I did it right. Anyway. So now this is uh, fluxing because we're, of course, time traveling right now through a loading screen. Unfortunately, time travel is, of course, quite slow. Although dramatic, according to the music. We're just loading, jeez. Oh, here we go. That was sudden. 
And we're back. 455. Artie's gotta be in there somewhere, spilling his guts to the DA. It took him 10 minutes to walk from that, like, where they were. Oh, yep, just... There he is! All I gotta do is get to him before... There he is, standing oh, yeah. by the window. Oh, God. What is this? I was wondering if I could do a little follow-up interview with you about the plight of poor Mr. Sagan. Wasn't an interview. My sources indicate that Judge Brown will be setting him free tomorrow. Why would you interview a bystander again? On that. It's just a box pop. Nothing. Listen, can we talk later? I've really got to get to the courthouse right now. Do you do nothing else really? and walk around? Why? Oh, man. She's going to be very, uh, you know, tough to get past. My grandpa he needs me as a character witness to get a fishing license. But she's a journalist. She won't believe you in this interview. Well, then. Oh. Carry on. And do put that vicious dog of yours on a leash, will you? References to future events. Sort of thing, you know? I don't no like problem. dogs. Remember ah. this fact, adventure games. I know how they work. Oh man, it's me, but I'm... Ah. Oh, come on, yesterday, Marty. Stop talking and get moving. Yep, good. Talk to yourself. Fantastic. Oh, what's this? I can smell the lack of trail as I smell the same smell I'm smelling right in front of me. I'm a dog, airing my thoughts in the voice of an it, Australian. So that works. Well, stay, obviously. Stay, boy. Oh, God. Damn, dog. Crap. Crap. Wait, what's the problem here? If you see yourself, who I cares? Stay. You know about time travel. What? It's like, what? Me? Oh, my God. Oh, wait. Yeah, time travel. This is probably just something that needs to happen. I'm just going to ignore it. Come on. Really? Is it a squirrel, Liney? And apparently, Marty was dumb yesterday. So, the obstacles. Oh, whoa. This is a new thing. So, we can apparently move around from this one camera angle now. Uh, I. You want to play? Okay, let's play. This is a let's play, correct. What are you up to, Liney? Well, why don't you look instead of standing on that side of the tree where you cannot see on, the dog? Boy. There we go. Hit, the, hit him! Hit him! Hit him! Einstein! Did we hit him? Where'd Marty go? This is just ridiculous. Yep, he's not suspicious at all. Bad dog. Oh, come on, Einie. Why did he move back there? What? <laughs> this is so dumb. Okay, let's try this again. Apparently. You look really is angry. Squirrel, right Whoa, look at this camera angle, dudes. Man, this is crazy. All right, to the gaze bow. Go get it, boy. Do it. Just stay over going, there. Boy? It's getting the stick that th was thrown by no one. Why are you so dumb in the past? You're killing me, Einie. Further in the past that we're currently in, so it's... I haven't got time for this, Einie. Present. Well, you do, again, because you have a time machine. You have the time for anything. This is obviously a new feature that they developed in, in between uh, cha episode one and episode two. Come on, boy, heal. We gotta save Doc. Uh, do I, I am not bonking myself on the head with a stick. Sure about that? Uh, no, but I, I guess we throw it over here. Do, I mean, if we throw it at Ed... All right, she hates dogs. Go get her, Ainy. I'm smart. You. Oh, I don't, didn't spot get the two. Get this mangy animal away from me! Why is he suddenly Come on, bark? Einstein, get away from the nice lady. My shoes. Are not being attacked at all. Well, wow, he's Ainy. Now to get into that courthouse and grab Artie before the <laughs> walking died. away. Oh. Ugh, my invisibility cloak. It is working somewhat. Who's this Russian dude? What, Tolstoy, what are you doing here? Whatever. Hey! Oh god. Um, hey! Oh god, During conversation! The rotary engine for a full scale rocket drill requires uh. 1.21 kilowatts of power. Get it? Can you check over my work to make sure? Get it? Get are it? You all right? Kilowatts? Yeah. Smaller yeah. amounts? But I need to get to. There. Why? Uh, because time travel. He, um. Might not know the way to the DA's office. Yep, yep. The clerk will take him there. Come on, shouldn't we be getting on with our work? We're on a strict deadline, right? Did you not see Marty run that way? Are you... Although I guess he came back, so... Sure, you start without me. Turn around and start walking and I'll... <laughs> I'll catch up to you in just a few minutes. Good plan. <laughs> Come on, just go along. Oh my god, what the hell is that? What's what? Bad acting. Oh, no, he's apparently really dumb. I'm talking to you. And he wouldn't realize oh, how before while I was walking towards. Why would he you. believe that? I'm talking to anyone. I was working on equations for my rocket trip. Come on. No, I mean after. Uh, never mind. Let's get going. He doesn't contemplate oh, hey. time travel. Fantastic. I thought I'd never leave. Ah. At least now I have a clear shot to the courthouse. Well, that means he doesn't. 
so I one assumes that if I tell him to go to the courthouse, there's going to be some sort of interruption, because you wouldn't say that otherwise. Oh. Okay. Out we go. Into the depths of the blackness of the courthouse. You gotta come, come with back. me. Look, you're in a lot of danger. <laughs> what do you mean I'm in danger? Nice start to no a conversation. No time to explain, Grand. Marty, just ah. promise me you'll stay at the police station until. Marty McFly. Matches. Just the guy we're looking for. Tolstoy. Hey, fellas. Hey. Run, get him. Run away, Tolstoy with lantern glasses. Oh no, I, I thought that was a beard. It's just a shadow. Oh man, that made no noise when it hit him and knocked him down on the ground for like a second. Artie? Uh, How did you lose them? You you were down uh, there for a second. Better trail before I start fading out again. How did he get over there? Whoa. That dude's evil as hell. Listen to that noise. He's like murdering kittens in there or something. And, ooh. Ooh, okay, this is different. Another new feature of uh, Back to the Future Episode 2. Camera angles have been improved, so we're not moving in that weird uh, sort of... That weird plane where you'd be hold not like an aeroplane. You'd hold one direction key and you'd still be moving that way even when you change planes. You uh, stay it's behind. Clear. Third All person right, shooter now. Fly. Let's go see the boss. The boss. This is Gears of Back to the Future. Yeah, by the way. Gears of Back. Fantastic. And there we go. Into the alleyway. Where nothing can go wrong. At all. Nope. Nothing bad ever happened in an alley. Everyone just everyone just go to your alleys around your town right now. Since that, so, so, how is my favorite accountant doing? You have oh, favorites? I've been better. Oh, I'm so sorry to hear that, McFly. He honestly cares. Trixie, take a powder, doll. We got business to discuss. Doll. Ko, you boys play nice now. Mwah. God, that nice voice. Nice to see you again, Audie. You too, Miss Trotter. She likes yeah, him. We're all happy as clams. Now scram. And Biff likes her, but she likes. <gasps> hit. Whoa, Rack. Can we like? I don't really care about this anymore. Can we just like follow her? She clearly just loves Artie anyway. Oh no, uh, Soup Man with the barrel. You guys stupid? What are you thinking? Bringing this fish food to my doorstep? I thought you, you might want it for your fish. Your first mistake. Thinking. Look at me. Do you ever catch me thinking? Huh? Well. Uh, Don't answer that. I get Look, it. Just drag him inside, find out what he told the DA, then get rid of him. Might look like a tree. I think we can handle get that. Him. Good. Now, if you don't mind, I've got an arsonist to snuff out. Get it, fire snuff and out. One of you slobs start hauling these crates in. You're on it, kid. Hmm. Huh. Crates, you say? I'm gonna look at you. <laughs> look, I'm walking into this so building. Far, so good. Huh. Grr. Grr, I'm turning invisible. Grr, it says on the captions. Oh no, <laughs> he's lost his head. I better get in there quick. You have a time machine. Come on. I guess he kind of does have to get in there quick anyway. Well, let's just head over to the door. I mean, we've I seriously just clicked on it and he's walking over there. Nothing can go wrong here. This is a good plan. What do you want? Hey, Toy Story. Toy Story. Toy Story. Toy Story. The Russian toy story. Kid story. sent me to talk to Artie. Foolproof. No, he didn't. Scram. How do you know I'm that? The direct approach. What do you mean? There was two other lines we had to try out. You again? I said scram. I really don't think I'm getting in that way. Did he record his lines in a barrel or something? What, was... what are you doing, Tolstoy? All right. Well, can we? Whoa. Okay. The, we have the third-person shooter stuff, but the walking once you get into this sort of plane once again is really bad. And we can't walk over there, because invisible walls in video games, they're great. So I assume we're going to have to walk around like the back way? Through the place? Ah! Oh, or not. I guess leaving's not an option. Wait, you have some sort of zonal restrictions when you turn invisible? How the heck does... How does time change based on if you Contents. walk away? One winged goddess. It's a person! Slave Oops. trade! Oh, it's not. Listen to your mothers, kids. Stay sober. With weird face, dude. It's like some sort of fallout. Yeah, just leave that over there. That's that's cool. Yeah, no one will notice that. So what, what was... This is basically just pixel hunt time now. Flanged sconces. What? Snazzy. Flanged... Those are... Contents. One winged goddess. That again. Winged goddess? Yeah, it's the thing you just saw before, idiot. Anyway, Locked. flanged and whatever the thing is, they're not words. Come on. I can't open it. Great. You can't just make up words, game. I'm onto you. 
Hey, there's a ladder. I wonder if we, we... Oh, we don't have to climb that. Okay. There's like two ladders on on the screen, and neither of them are climbable. Which is fantastic, you know, really, really good how that works. Is this, this crate? I should probably put something in there to replace the broken merchandise. Well, do we have anything? I don't... Can we put the smaller crate in there? It's a box of classy sconces. Yeah, I know. I want you to put it in there. You no? Know, or not? Why would you do that? Maybe... Oh! Because they need to bring the crates in, so he needs to put himself in there. I... I still get it. Nice fit. I get adventure Here games. Nothing. I'm smart. It's a crates cue ball. Hey. Stir the soup cue ball. Yeah. Clean out the blood stains cue ball. Wait, what? <laughs> I'm not a gangster, I'm a freaking butler. I'm gonna talk to myself and not even realize that there's crates now, open. Which one of you guys goes in first? Crates Jeez, are guys. Or a gal with no arms. You sure is heavy. So wait, he's deadlifting Marty <laughs> in the crate. Cue ball is kind of strong. Whoops. And he didn't even open Ow. the door. Do you mind? I'm trying to conduct a professional interrogation over here. I'm sure. Where should I put this? Professional. Just shove it behind the bar. Professional because they're wearing shirts. Serve you but... behind the bar. What a comeback, Cue ball. You're Shakespearean and you're genius. Compared to, you know, other witty levels of genius. That makes sense. Come on, Artie. Wake up. Peace. How much chloroform did you put on Chloroformed. that bag anyway? Chloroformed. Because I'm having a hard time bringing Sleeping Beauty here around. Uh, Why is he uh, uh, You mean Rack? Rack girl before? What's that over there? I can't read that. Hey, Chlor We got a few questions about you and the DA. Stop slapping him. Why would that wake him up? D-E-D? See what I'm working with here? He's high as hell. Seems to be catching. Ah, uh, Tolstoy is also up. so sleep. Oh, sorry, boss. This stupid cold got me wiped out. <laughs> Seriously, did this guy just Try appear? to stay awake long enough to finish that poster, will ya? Will ya? We got a club to open in a few days. He was... And turn off that sign, would you? Would ya? El Kid? Is that for his Spanish tour that he's going on? Anyway, Tolstoy just appeared out of nowhere. He, he did not exist when we were here in this day earlier. Ah, right, look at my walk. Oh man, he's gonna play a nice song for us. And uh, so with that, with this lovely tune, I think we'll head out for this video. Uh, this is Back to the Future Episode 2, Part 1 in the books. So for now, just Shouldn't been... Kid be oh. back by now? Plot. How long does it take to stroll next door and pop a jailbird? That's a euphemism. Did you hear? Change of plans. He's touching himself. Huh? Pop a jailbird. Word on the street is Sagan's working on some kind of jailbreak, so the cops are moving him up to the state pen tonight. Kid's gonna head him off at the pass. He's popping a jailbird in some tissues. Why don't people tell me these things? Because Q-Ball is not involved. Good night, everybody. Wait, that's not my thing.